Hello, my name is Frank and I'd like to welcome you on my new YouTube channel, Sensor. Sensor. Um, I'd like to give you an understanding of the fascinating world of s the small sensors you're using every day in your smartphone, in your car, and I think most of the time you don't even know that you're using those sensors. They're pretty fascinating, they're very, very small. We're talking about sensors of a size of 2 by 2 millimeters, even smaller sometimes and they give you all the possibilities you use today for example when you look at your smartphone now um, you know that the smartphone knows that you're holding it upside down or you're holding it in a landscape format and the reason the smartphone knows this is because of the tiny sensors inside this is for example due to a tilt sensor or acceleration sensor and there are more fascinating sensors inside um, all those sensors are yeah, summarized under the um, name MEMS sensors, MEMS, M-E-M-S, and MEMS stands for Micro Electromechanical System. So micro because they're very, very, very small, very tiny sensors, electro because they have an electrical interface, uh, mechanical because they're very, very small, tiny uh, mechanical structures inside, to detect accelerations or the tilt of your smartphones, different pressures, um, maybe the turning of your smartphone, of your car and so on. And it's all together a system, therefore they're called MEMS, Micro Electromechanical System. They're very, very small, very fascinating, I'd like to show you that. I've been working in the field of MEMS sensors now for more than 15 years. Uh, in development, in research, um, in uh, product marketing and so on. So I think I have a deep understanding and I uh, can explain to you quite well why they are so fascinating, why they are so cool to know more about those sensors. Um, to give you an example how small the sensors are really and the structures inside those sensors, um, I found two weeks ago a press release from Bosch um, and they have a very, very cool picture because this is an electronic microscope picture of a, a MEM structure, a MEM structure plus a human hair on top of it. And you see the relation, this thick brown uh, yeah, thing over these uh, tiny structures is the human hair. And the human hair has a thickness of roughly 90 micrometers, and 1000 micrometers is 1 millimeter, so it's pretty, pretty small. 90 micrometers for a human hair and the structures below those uh, this hair these are the microelectromechanical structures um, they're, et they're etched in silicon like normal computer chips it's the same material they are using there and they're very very small the, the the bars you see for example on these pictures they have a thickness of just two or three micrometers and the height of those bars is around 20 micrometers so very, very small and very, very precise etching. And the question is, why do they know that you're holding your smartphone upside down or in a landscape format? The structures you have seen on the um, electronic microscope picture are pretty, pretty small and they look quite complicated. Um, but the, the, the basic function, the basic structure is very, very simple and I'd like to explain it to you. Um, you have Normally you have in these microelectromechanical systems, you have complex structures. They're like these fingers here. And these fingers here, they, they can be moved. They're, they're just fixed to an overall frame on the one side and the other side with spring-like structures. The, this, this comp is movable, this mass connected to the comp is movable. And there's another fixed complex structure and they're looking like this. If you look at the, the um, picture again, I'll show you this picture again, there are all over the place these complex structures intersecting each other. And this is the basic structure for all MEMS um, you, you see today. Most of the MEMS you, you see use those complex structures. And it's quite simple how they work because you have on the one hand this movable mass here just with the springs on both sides and on the other hand a fixed complex structure and when you now hold your smartphone or your sensor flat um, nothing happens it's just the, the combs are here 
in the medium of, of this uh, gap here. Um, it's all stable, fixed, nothing happens. But then you tell your smartphone what happens now is that gravity is working on this structure here. This structure um, follows the gravity, it goes down and just due to the springs on top of it, springs hold it up, but it moves a little bit down and the springs here get stretched and so it's not in the middle position anymore, it moves a little bit down. So the, the, the distances between the fingers changes. And this is the secret of all those sensors because you can measure those distances in electronics with the so-called capacity. The capacity changes of the fingers or the capacity between the fingers changes and though you know that there's change in the distance. That's the whole secret of all of those structures. Um, so when you're tilting your smartphone and the gravity works here on this structure, moves a little bit down and then you have changes in the distance. And the more you, you tilt your smartphone, the stronger gravity um, tears it down and so you have a stronger change in the distance. And therefore your sensor inside the smartphone, therefore your smartphone knows you're tilting on your smartphone. So you have three different structures in your smartphone, one looking like this, that direction, measure, measuring the tilt in that direction, a second one turned by 90 degrees, measuring the tilt in that direction, and a third one with a paddle measuring the uh, gravity in that direction. Those three structures are packed together in one tiny, tiny sensor, two by two millimeters. Now the newest sensors are even smaller, 1.5 by 1.5 millimeter, very, very small. And, um, and to show you that it's not just, just theory I'm talking about, if you have a Samsung smartphone, it's quite simple. You don't even need an app to show or to see that there's some uh, sensors inside. <coughs> you just go to the normal phone screen here and you just tap star hash just show you how you can see it star hash zero star and when you type hash again the screen suddenly changes. It's some sort of test program which is inside a Samsung smartphone. Uh, don't worry I'm not working for Samsung um, and there are some dish, uh, different programs you can uh, for, for testing your smartphone and there's one called sensor. If you type on it you see different uh, information about sensors and if you go on the back here so you can see it completely and there are the different sensors inside. You have on the one hand here the acceleration sensor, uh, the one I'm talking about. Um, you have here, for example, proximity sensor, a barometric sensor, this is a pressure sensor, um, a light sensor, gyroscope sensor, this measures the turning of the smartphone, and one magnetic sensor. This is, for example, uh, the, the types of sensors you have in, in a Samsung S3. In a newer one, there are even more sensors. But now we're talking about the acceleration sensor, and here you can see the, the uh, numbers they're measuring for X, Y, and Z. They are there. They are not very stable, but you can see there's also X angle, Y angle, and Z angle. And now you can see, for example, if you look at the X angle, it's, it says yeah, here's zero. So it's perfectly uh, perpendicular. And now I'm turning the smartphone, and now it says minus 90. So it measures the angle I'm holding with the smartphone due to this acceleration or tilt sensor inside. And you can even look at uh, some, some graph here. The problem is, so you, you can see here X, Y, and Z, different colors. But the problem is that the resolution <laughs> of this screen is not very, very good. Don't know who have programmed it, but you, you see some difference in the lines, very, very tiny distances here. And if I turn it, can see that there's there are some changes because um, x, y, or z direction has now different values. And now it's upside down again. So you have some changes, um, but it's not very, very good to see. There you can use some app to see more details, so have better resolution. And if you want to go out again, just type on this back button twice. That's important. Now you're here, twice again. Mm, yeah, this is the overview and twice again and the uh, 
done. So if you have a smartphone from Samsung, it's very easy. If you have another smartphone, just download an app and you can have a more um, detailed view on the sensors you have inside. Very, very fascinating. I, f I hope I could explain to you the secrets of the tilt sensor, acceleration sensor uh, in this video today. And I'm happy that you have looked um, at my video and hope you will see uh, watch the next videos. Um, until then, thanks and bye-bye.